And why orders Tesla Model 3? Tesla announced on Wednesday that the Big Apple is looking to purchase 300 Tesla Model 3's electric vehicles for its fleet. 275 fast chargers, 11 solar charging carports, among others. The city of New York is working with Mayor Bill de Blasio's Office of Sustainability to move forward with this initiative. These EVs will be part of the city's official fleet, replacing older models like the Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor Utilities and Chevy Impala 9C1 that had been previously used. In this video, we are going to talk about NY Order's Tesla Model 3. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Also, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this if you haven't already. Hi guys and welcome back to TechSpot. Tesla has been making waves in the automotive industry for years now. While the company's model, gorgeous all-electric concept cars are mostly sedans, they also produce one of the quickest and most powerful options in the world. But Tesla doesn't just make sedans, it also makes crossovers and SUVs. That's right, Tesla makes electric cars and now New York City wants to buy some of them. Specifically, the city has plans to purchase 300 new Tesla vehicles as part of an effort to place 2,000 electric cars into its fleet by 2022. The plan would also see the installation of 275 charging stations throughout the five boroughs, 11 solar carports, as well as several upgrades to current charging infrastructure in New York City for fueling up on compressed natural gas CNG, should any of the cars be required to run on gas in an emergency. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said, By expanding our electric vehicle fleet, we are reducing our emissions, saving taxpayer dollars, and moving closer to our goal of zero emissions vehicles for city government by 2030. The report also notes that this surge in Model 3 pre-orders from New York City could also be attributed to an aggressive marketing campaign carried out by Tesla. The automaker's presence in the Big Apple is also felt with a physical gallery space located in Manhattan's Meatpacking District, as well as at a service center in Brooklyn. What are the costs? The city will also be purchasing trucks and buses that run on CNG, and plans to have approximately 500 electric vehicles in total in its fleet by 2022. The move is expected to save the city around $10 million over the next 12 years, and reduce CO2 emissions by 800 tons a year. On the other side, a new report indicates that the electric car maker has racked up $12.36 million in pre-orders. In total, the company has since taken 82,000 reservations for the vehicle. According to Teslarati, these 82,000 orders have been placed by New York City-based Tesla Model 3 reservation holders. The automaker delivered approximately 860 cars during its last quarter of 2017 and is expected to produce another 1,500 units during the first quarter of this year. The deal will be funded in part by money the city receives from a settlement with major oil companies over climate change. The city said its orders would cost $41.2 million, but did not say how many vehicles that would cover. The city had previously said it would spend $10 million to buy 300 electric vehicles, including 100 Tesla Model 3s, but this is the first time it has disclosed models or pricing. Mayors and governors of US cities have banded together to pledge to buy more electric cars, hoping to spur sales and fight climate change. Some have criticized Tesla for delays in meeting production targets for the Model 3 sedan, seen as crucial to its long-term profitability. What's next for businesses? Tesla has been struggling to boost production of the sedan since launching it last year and has promised shareholders it would make 10,000 per week by March 2022. The company says it is now producing 2,000 per week and expects to hit 5,000 by the end of June 2022. Tesla's Model 3 boasts a 215-mile range per charge and starts at $35,000 before incentives, a price point that's far less than comparably equipped competitors like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes C-Class. All along, Musk has said that Tesla would not need to raise capital in 2018. That's now looking optimistic. Tesla is burning through about $6,500 per minute, or about $480 million per quarter. 
While that rate isn't out of line with the company's historical burn rate, it does represent a 30% increase over the same period last year. The company has been boosted by the Model 3's popularity, which hit an all-time high in June. Investors are anxiously awaiting news of when production will hit 5,000 cars per week, a milestone the company says is on track to be reached this month. New York City and other municipalities are ordering batches of Tesla's Model 3 due to start hitting delivery centers in July. But many of them are likely to be paying full price for the vehicles, rather than the discounted price the automaker has offered in the past for bulk orders. This is largely because Tesla will be unable to offer any discounts on most of its vehicles for at least another two months, a consequence of reaching its self-imposed cap on federal tax credits earlier than expected. The company had previously said it expected to reach that limit by April of 2022. But if this doesn't happen, and New York waits until next year to make its purchase, then it will have to wait until 2022, since Tesla won't be able to deliver before that time. The timetable appears to be plausible, since CEO Elon Musk has made it clear that they are focusing on deliveries and production, with more emphasis on quality than numbers. So, while some good things are coming out of this announcement, like more orders for Tesla's mass-market sedan and 500 additional jobs, New Yorkers may have to wait until next year before they can drive their very own Model 3. What does it mean for Tesla? What New York City is doing is not a policy for all cities, each city needs to develop its EV policy that makes sense for its circumstances and goals. This was right for the city council. Tens of thousands of people have applied to jobs at Tesla in the past week alone. These are good jobs on average salaries with great benefits. It is no surprise that many people want to work at Tesla. But I hope those who do will pause to consider how much greater their impact can be if the world joins New York in taking electric cars truly mainstream. While the delivery of this order will benefit the city directly, it will also be an important and symbolic milestone for Tesla. New York City has a goal of reducing its carbon footprint by 40% by 2030, with the ultimate goal of reaching carbon neutrality. While Model 3 is not entirely emission-free, it can help contribute to that in part by using renewable energy. Tesla is expected to begin delivering Model 3s to customers before the end of 2021, and expects to ramp up production throughout 2022. It is also worth noting that since this purchase was voted on, Tesla has moved from its original $35,000 base price for the vehicle to $42,900 after federal tax incentives are factored in. That's still lower than what many other brands are offering for entry-level luxury cars. Despite Tesla's enormous growth in 2018 and a record-breaking fourth quarter, the company's stock took a beating as analysts began to doubt that it could continue to meet production goals for its all-important Model 3. With many analysts now forecasting that the company will post a profit in the first quarter of 2019, it is safe to say that those fears have been laid to rest. Some analysts are now predicting that Tesla's market cap could rise to $90 billion by the end of next year, which would be an astounding increase from its current $47 billion valuation. This is a huge milestone in New York's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable transportation. The city is the latest governmental entity to place an order for Tesla Model 3, joining others including Tesla's largest market, California, Hong Kong, and many other European, Asian, and Canadian cities. With the rising global sales of plug-in electric cars, and with several million electric cars already on the road around the world, it is clear that fully electric vehicles are becoming increasingly mainstream. By placing this order, New York City is helping to accelerate this transition. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. We do hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think about the new decision by the New York City government in the comments section below. Also, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for more informative content like this from TechSpot. Take care guys, and see you all in the next video.